Hey guys, Bing here. Today I'm going to show you how to model this uh, family. So it's parametric, so you can change the size. Yep. Okay, so let's start. So first open this family. So this is a, 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 fa a, a model we modeled um, two days ago. So you can download this family um, and then open this. This is a family file in that uh, file if you can download it. And then se select this face and edit family. So delete this face. Okay. And then we need to create a new family which generic model adaptive and then Place 3.123 Make adaptive Spline Reference line Spline Reference line And spline Reference line So now place some point Draw on face Middle And also two point One point on each side of Each reference Reference line So now select one the point so I'll change this to N so it's close to zero. So this one's one, this one change that to N, this one change one to N. So I'll select all of these and then we can uh, uh, place 0.1. So yep. So that will be 10% of uh, the whole length of this reference line. So you can create a parameter if you want. So now, place point, draw on work plan, set work plan, place on the horizontal work plan of these points. So one point for each point. So make sure when you place point, that's a warning. So which uh, is telling you you did it correct correctly. So now select the the, new, the point. So see this arrow go up. So that's positive. Go up, go up. So this one go down. That's positive. Down, down, this one go down as well, and uh, just select these point, uh, rotate them 180. So now they all go down. Select these three points. Oh, sorry, wrong one. Go back, Control Z. One, two, three and uh, create an offset let's call it offset 1 ok and ok and then this one, one. oops sorry 1 2 3 4 5 6 uh, offset 2, so create a parameter offset 2 and now we can select 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 spline, reference line 1, one 2, 3, 4, 5 spline, reference line and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 spline Different slide and then slide, 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 select them, create form, face. Okay, um, and then you can you can adjust these. Let's try something like this. Yep, I think that's okay. So now let's load this into this family. So we choose family six. So this is family eight. So load 
into family six and place it on this point. So you you know it you will notice that I place them all uh, clockwise. So if you do it the other way, so it's okay. You can select them, select it, and uh, flip it. Okay. So now let's load this into Family Five. Okay. So load into Family Five and uh, move right. Uh, okay. Something's not right. Um, I think it's probably because of this size. I'll just change this to a bigger size. Yeah, that's better. So, yeah, because we have a quite big uh, offset in this family, but this, so which means we, yeah. So we need to match that scale. So now, if you look at these, it's a little bit like uh, some overlapping happening here. So okay. So what we need to do is we go back to here. Maybe not go back to here. We need to rotate these a little bit. So so this uh, spline go inside a little bit. So let's click on this point. So this is zero. Let's try ten degree. So no, we need to negative. So something like that, right? So select these one, two, three points. So let's create a um, parameter. I'll call it negative angle N A. Okay. So now let's try this these three one two three so now it's 180 let's try 190 nope it need to be something like 170 so I'll create a another angle parameter this one call it 180 minus a and okay and okay so these three one two three now zero I'll try 10 degree yeah that's correct so I'll create create a um, a let's call it a so we go back to family type and a equals negative a 180 minus a plus 180 minus a so now if I if I change the a, a so for example five so you can see all these make it the one so 30 yep. so I'll use 10 degree for now okay and then I'll load this into family 6 first so which is this one over right um, don't worry about it for now I'll, I'll need to load it into this so I can uh, see how much we need to so um, it's not too bad. Um, let's try tab select this uh, individual one. So and then we will have this A. Let's try um, nine degree. Yep. Yeah, you will see. Uh, um, I'm not sure nine. It won't be perfect because not um, some of the triangles not um, they don't have each uh, uh, equal size, so you always have like uh, a gap or overlapping somewhere. But I'll leave it for now. I think it's it's good enough for yeah, for this exercise. Um, so also we want some structure so tab so see this family so uh, tab select one individual one edit family and then we can just quick, quickly uh, place a 
place a circle reference circle draw on work plan set here and then create a profile of uh, uh, a framing then i'll talk in 75 you can create a, par a parameter for it but uh, uh, i'll just use uh, uh, i'll just leave it and then create a form so that's the a framing so now if you I load this into this family so that's it so yeah so that's this is this is um, this is it for today and uh, yeah if you have any question let me know um, okay uh, I'll see you next time Okay, let's hang on. let's try 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 uh, where, where's the, where's my where's my parameter here try different size yep still work okay so see that the frame is uh, the same size but uh, if you have if you create a parameter you can control them as well so yeah, that's it. Thank you. See you next time.